All right, look how much stuff. So this is the first part I'll go over. This is all like fruits and vegetables. So part of this haul will be stuff that I want my daughter to eat. Also, she's very carb heavy. Um, so I want to get her into more. She loves strawberries and celery. So I want to make sure that we're buying that a lot too. So strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries are the lower carb vegetable or fruits. I mean that you can eat with keto. Celery, I got two really big bags of it because we're going to put it into the cabbage soup. And also we love it with um, peanut butter. She'll eat peanut butter and I'll do it with like walnut butter. And then she loves green pepper. So I got three of those. And then we'll put this into the soup also. We got a bunch of cauliflower because she likes that raw. And we also like it cooked. Got this was a really good deal. This whole bag... Um, was $1.99, so I got three of them. And then we're going to freeze them, too. We got some green beans and cabbage for the cabbage soup. Broccoli. We both um, like this raw and cooked. And avocados. These were $0.79 cents each, so I got three of those. These ones are really hard, so I know that I can put them in the fridge and kind of forget about them for a day or two. Spaghetti squash. So this is going to be part of one of our meal plans. And we're also doing um, zucchini lasagna this week. And also spaghetti squash. Sorry for the background noise of real family life. So I'm going to organize and go over the rest. All right. So I got bananas for my daughter. Me and my husband don't eat them. But, um, so on to dairy. So ricotta cheese I got for the zucchini lasagna. I saw this and I was just kind of intrigued. It looks pretty good. And the carb count was pretty low. Two carbs for two tablespoons. You definitely can't indulge, but I thought that would be good for um, snacking with pork rinds. And then I got Swiss cheese. Don't mind my real life and mozzarella and then I got light whipping cream and I got this with the for the berries I wanted to get ready whip would you like the spray can but the one I had had like four grams of carbs in it and I just felt really weird about that I'm like I didn't agree with it so I didn't get that one so I got this instead and then I got these for my daughter um, I'm hoping that she'll even try them Wacky watermelon or cherry. We'll see. Those are definitely for her, not us. And then this is for the Alfredo for the spaghetti squash and chicken sausage. This one was decent. Um, it was pretty much like the Ross, the Rose one that we got. If you watched one of my cooking videos. And then some mild cheese. And I got coffee to mix with possibly almond milk and um heavy whipping cream but i also got this because in my keto box i got a um like granola that's like really good looking so i want to try that with the almond milk and i got butter and then i got some bacon and we're going on to meat and then i got ham and what we actually want to do with this so we want to do the bacon bits with ham and then that cheese that I showed you and make like spin rolls out of it. I think that'll be really good. And then I got pepperoni. My girls that I talk to every day have been doing mozzarella and low carb wraps. So I got some wraps and some pepperoni. They been showing that. I feel like I want to eat it. So I got some pepperoni and then bacon. And we got two things of eggs. One we're going to hard boil, and the other one we'll leave normal. And then I got some bone broth. We got beef bone broth. One I can drink, and then the other one we'll put into the cabbage soup. And we're actually going to make it with beef this time. We're actually going to put a chalk roast in it, but I didn't buy that yet. And then I got some hot dogs. They have like one carb per link, and that's for my daughter. She also will eat sausage, so I got some normal pork sausage to cook up for her. And then for meals, I got this chicken sausage. And then I want to make sure when it's packaged that it's not a whole bunch of added stuff. So it's two carbs, one fiber. So each one will just have one carb in it. 
and then this hot sausage. This is actually going to have four in it. So normally a lot of meats and stuff don't have it, but when they're packaged, you kind of have to think about their like preservatives. And then I got this and I showed in the little clips that there was um, other types in this brand that were really good. But we got this one, a beef sticks and sausage sticks. These are good. I love to eat cheese during the day, but I want to get some more protein in. So I am going to eat those too. And then I got this big thing of chicken breast. And all, all these was on sale for $9.24. And they're really thick. So what I'm planning to do is actually do two and two and one. Or even just one individually and package them separately. So then I can cook one by myself during the day instead of having to thaw the whole package. Or also um, just do two for a meal and not have to thaw the whole package. Um, each time that I want to use them. So on to snacks. So I showed a little bit. There was a whole bunch of options for um, like peanuts or nuts. So these were really good. These are all ones that you really can eat. So I looked at the carb count for those. So six minus four. So that's two. That's pretty good for one fourth cup. So remember not to indulge. You shouldn't feel super hungry. If you do... Um, eat more protein and fat. So this one had five minus three, so there's only really two, and then these were salt, um, with sea salt. Now I got these ones for my daughter, but they're really not bad because green beans aren't terrible. So 13 minus five. This was something for my daughter too. She likes the white cheddar, um, cheddar puffs. Oh my god, my poor friend. And then sunflower kernels. Milk is for my daughter. We don't drink it um, alone. And then there's wraps. I got these for my daughter too. Kind of getting like a different kind of mix in there. I'm not just giving her a bag of chips in her bag. I got olives. And then the diced tomatoes are going to go in the soup. These are for my daughter. I really thought these were chicken nuggets, so I'm disappointed that they're chips because I'm trying to get protein in all of her meals. And then this one has a little bit of protein with the pepperoni, but those are easy for her lunch boxes. But she likes fish sticks, so I was um, getting her those. And then I'm going to put them in the air fryer too and see how they work out. So, so this was all my stuff, except I put most of the vegetables away already. So if you want to see the, the recipes that we are making this week, let me know down below. I do have one for the sausage, uh, hot sausage zucchini. And then also I have one that's really similar to a chicken recipe with zucchini noodles. So you can check those out too. All right. That was everything I got at Aldi's today. And then with my fetch points, I scanned this receipt and I earned about 150 points. The only reason you don't really earn a lot more is because of the brand isn't sponsored by them. So I probably wouldn't go here all the time, but I think I got a good deal with everything that I made. And the only thing we really have to go to the other grocery store is we're gonna get um, more protein to freeze and then onions. They just didn't have them individually there. So, all right, give me a big thumbs up and tell me what you guys wanna see next. Bye guys. Have a great day.